Good old Pappy Nubs loved his scrub plane. He carried this thing with him everywhere he went. During the War of the Roses, he actually used it to cut the cheese for Richard III. He said they were good friends because they were both hunchbacks. But what made this tool so versatile was this wide mouth, which was usually used in conjunction with a curved iron. You can really take a lot of material off very quickly with a plane like that. This scrub plane was actually made just for that purpose, but the earliest old-timey woodworkers didn't make scrub planes as such. They made smoothing planes like this one. But after a lot of work, the sole would eventually wear down and the mouth would get wider, and it wouldn't be good for smoothing anymore. But if you ground the blade to a nice radius, you can give this tool a second life as a scrub plane. Planes manufactured specifically as scrubs didn't become all that common until a little bit later on. Pappy's plane was a German model, and a long time ago somebody added an iron plate to the bottom to slow the wear. This is another German-made scrub plane from the mid-1800s, and this one is from the early 1900s. So as you can see, there wasn't a lot of change in style over the centuries. That is until Stanley got into the market and decided to make an iron version. This is the Stanley number 40, a plane made purely for rough work. There aren't a lot of frills, not even a chip breaker, just a huge mouth and a thick cambered iron that scoops out big shavings fast. This is a great plane, but I find it to be a little narrow for some work. If I use it to flatten my whole bench top, I'd have to take a lot more strokes than I'd like to. Stanley did make a wider 40 and a half, but I don't have one of those. So I'm gonna use something else. This is a store-bought plane that cost me like 10 bucks brand new. It's called a Windsor number no. 33, which is just a fancy way of saying Harbor Freight plane. It's a piece of junk when it comes to smoothing. But I filed the mouth open a little bit wider and I put a nice three inch radius on the iron. Now it's a very useful scrub plane. If you're new to the old timey woodworking world, this is a lot cheaper and easier to get your hands on than a Stanley number no. 40. Just the idea of a $10 homemade scrub plane makes me feel warm inside. And it's really not going to be that difficult. It's already got a pretty thick iron that's held just by a lever cap. All we need to do is to grind a nice heavy camber. Now a scrub plane usually has about a 3 inch radius on it. So I just drew a 3 inch circle on a piece of hardwood, cut that into a pattern, and we're going to use it to mark the blade and then shape it on the grinder. And then this pattern is going to come in handy when it comes time to sharpen the blade. You can just do this freehand on the grinder. Now I did set the grinder tool rest to about 30 degrees, but you could just grind it flat. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you dip it in water a lot. Do not overheat your blade. You'll ruin it. Just take your time. Get a nice smooth arc right up to the line that you marked on the blade, and then you're all set. Now here's our secret weapon. You remember this, baby? We made this in episode 6. It's our modified work sharp sharpening system, and we're going to use that special Tormek jig bar to sharpen the camber on our plane blade. We're going to adjust the bar all the way down, making sure that it's parallel to the disc. And then we break that hardwood pattern back out. The radius is going to ride along the bar, which helps us to maintain both the proper angle and the proper shape as we sharpen the bevel on the blade. Since we just made a rough shape on the grinder, I start out with some 80 grit self-adhesive sandpaper. Use a rocking motion, keep the blade flat on the bar and just follow the shape of your pattern. After you do a little bit on the 80 grit, switch to something higher, like 120 would be a good one to use next. It's really amazing what cheap sandpaper can do on this setup. This was a really rough bevel that we got off the grinder, and already, with just a couple minutes, we've gotten a nice smooth finish. Now it's time to move from that 120 grit right to our black coarse emery compound. It's only going to take just maybe 15, 20 seconds on this grit, and then we can switch from the black to the brown and give that another 10, 15 seconds. It's really fast. You can see that we're already getting a mirror finish, 
and we haven't even gotten to the fine honing compounds. Of course, before you switch to your finer grits, flatten the back on top of this disc. It just takes a few seconds with your white, and then it's time to switch it out again, and you're moving on to red. Some say that red doesn't actually remove any steel, it just polishes. Well, I say, so what? It's only another five or six seconds. Why not polish it as much as you can? Of course, on a scrub plane, you don't really need it to be this sharp. But, hey, when we've got the system that works so well, why not just do it? You don't have to have a work sharp system to put a camber on a blade. There's lots of other ways to do this. You can look on the internet and find them. But if you do have a work sharp, Check out the Stumpy store because people have been asking us to put the plans for our WorkSharp system modifications in the store. And these are going to show you how to get every last little bit of sharpening goodness out of your WorkSharp system. Plus, you can say bye-bye forever to all that expensive sandpaper they want to sell you. With a heavy camber like this, a scrub plane is going to take big, thick chips. And so you want a wide mouth. Now this plane already has a pretty wide mouth. If you find that it clogs at all, just file it a little bigger. But I figure this is going to be wide enough. So I'm going to set it to a nice thick cut and start scrubbing. Scrub planes are designed to take off a lot of wood fast. And so you run a crisscross pattern. You don't want to run against the grain or even with the grain because you're going to tear it out. You're just trying to rough it off fast. And this plane for $10, oh my goodness, you can't get a better deal on a scrub plane. And it just took a little bit of work. 